So losing the championship and you know you down, down summer, all of a sudden you hear <laughs> Kevin Durant is coming to Golden State. We won. <laughs> <laughs> like, right did that then, change the won. mood? Oh, yeah, we won. <laughs> did that change the mood from what we just what just happened? It was crazy. It was it was it was it was shock. It was this the shock. It was like I'm I'm sitting getting the cut. I'm in the barber seat, and I remember you know just seeing it on my phone like damn, like KD to the Warriors, and I showed the barber you know, and he like it was just shock like. Man, this man really finna come. Like, who we, you know, I'm thinking, like, who did I get traded? Like, I'm, I'm on the team still, like, you know. Um, but yeah, it was a shock. And it really hit home when he got in training camp. Bro, walked through the door. Cause I, I play again throughout all my stops. I played with a lot of these guys. I was in OKC, James, Russell, Kevin Durant. This is their first two years. They're young guys. But by this time, it's KD, yeah. right? And, uh, just watching him, I remember watching him warm up, watching him go through his workout for the first time. I was just sitting there just like like a, a fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like we already won a chip by this time. Like we we feel yeah. like we made men, but we watching as a fan. Like this dude, seven foot out here, what he doing, his work, his work ethic. Yeah. Like watching him, you know, get to his spot, shooting trays, hezzies, all the, you know, the one twos, like footwork, the footwork. like. It's like, damn. Tall it, as hell, too. Real seven foot. I mean, he's six, six, nine, but footer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Out here, you know, all the guard work, guard mm -hmm. work, you know what I'm saying? With with this, with that, with that gun, you know? <laughs> and it was just like, he about to be on our team with what we got. <laughs> like, it's finna be fun. It's finna be fun. <laughs> and it was, cause- It changed the mood during the summer. It, it, it changed the mood. It changed the mood because we still, it was me, Dre, still on the second team, so. You know, obviously, it took us to a different level because we already had the culture in place with Steph, Clay, Dre, right? And then you have me and Andre as the vets. Go out, you get David West, bring in another vet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He new to the team, but he a made man. D mm -hmm. West, shout out D West. Yeah. You know, so now you got, you know, a solid foundation, and then you just bring this killer to, you know what I'm saying? You bring a unicorn to what we, what we have. It was just telepathy, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like we all just moving, it's like string music, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then you got him in the fourth to, like we just out here watching him, like just get this man to rock, like yeah. How, yeah, was, how did you you look at Steph? Cause I know you had a, a higher level of respect for Steph, but for Steph to have KD come in and I don't wanna say take a step back, but understood like, yeah, KD might need to be the first option. Mm -hmm. I need to be the second mm -hmm. option. Mm -hmm. How did you look at Steph after you seen him with no problem, welcome KD with open arms, and was cool with him taking the most shots and yeah. doing all that? It was hard for Steph because it was an adjustment. He didn't make the adjustment until Christmas game. Mm -hmm. And I remember we, I think we lost to the Cavs that, that, that game. Mm -hmm. um, Kyrie again, <laughs> last second shots. But, um, you know, Steph, that's the part where you say he's such a nice guy because he is the most humble superstar I've ever been around. Yeah. We didn't been around superstars sure. and the blueprint of what you've seen was Mike where it's like, get out the way if you don't want to win my way, right? right. Mm -hmm. And everybody coming after Mike felt like you had to be a certain type of, yeah. you know what I'm saying, personality. Cole was that way in a way, right? Like it was the asshole type of personality. Steph wasn't that way, but he still had that competitive killer instinct on the court, but he, he's quiet, good dude, well-spoken, right? Um, come from a good background, all the things where it was just different. And he allowed you to be comfortable on the court with him, even though he was a superstar. And you didn't get that a lot. You know if you're playing with superstars, because that ball got a little bit more weight on it when he passed it to you, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Steph allowed you to still be yourself. He still, you know, wanted you to be a say he never got on guys he was never yelling at guys that wasn't his type of energy and so when kd got there the fact that he went to go recruit you know like not recruit but just talk to him you know and and hey man like Come we on, got a chance man. to do something special most superstars like hey team, you know gm you go do that right like you you know i'll put a call in but i'm not finna pull up like yeah. that's the humility that steph has and that's the, you know, his character, what goes into his character. Like, 
you know, I'll take a step back if this is for the best of the team. You don't see that with superstars. It's, yeah. it's, it's my narrative, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna control it the way, cause that's what my talent dictate. Um, that's what I watched. He did it differently. Um, so he took a step back and had to make it the biggest adjustment. Uh, and I think that's what KD was looking at. Like, you know, is Steph gonna take that step back? I never seen anybody score so efficiently as KD. Mm -hmm. 30 on like 12 shots. 12 shots. How? <laughs> right. And so like when he came, it wasn't really an adjustment for him because he could get his in the flow. Yeah. Like no one else I've ever seen. Um, Steph, you know, like his was a little bit more volume, oh, really? right? Yeah. Like he needed a little bit more rhythm. And then after that Christmas game, I think, you know, there was internal conversation amongst them two, which it had to be, right? Like, look, I need you to be Steph Curry. And then once, once Steph was like, all right, you know, KD good, he's good with us, it was like unstoppable from then. You grew up in Illinois, so I know you are a big Bulls fan. You watched Mike Dem win six championships. Uh, they say the team with you and KD is one of the best teams ever. So Debatable. If you, if you a match them Bulls team, that Bulls team that you seen went to the championship. You going there with it. I, I, he, he can, he's the best <laughs> he can tell us. <laughs> that Bulls team that you seen um, win three in a row to the team that you, you play with, with KD, what you think that matchup will look like? How can you really compare eras? But like, I'm, I'm a Bulls fan. I grew up, I, it's hard for me to ever put anybody over the Bulls. I'm gonna just keep it a buck. You know, like I'm good a, man. Nah, right for here. real, I'm gonna I'm okay. keep it a buck. Like it's, it's Illinois like, pride. Yeah, like you know, like yeah, it's 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 you know, it's it's Mike over everything. But like our team, I will say this from a from a depth standpoint and the amount of star power that you had on our team, especially throughout the course of the game now nowadays with yeah. the way the three is being shot and you got three gunslingers out there. You know, like I'm talking about Legitimate. real snipers, mm -hmm. real snipers, ever. like that you're not leaving. So that's the, you know, like the amount of star power, like obviously Mike, you know, the biggest star, you know, in my eyes, um, you know, his will to win, but it's, you can't compare eras. For us, it's just the, being in the conversation. In or the for me, I'm, I'm gonna speak for me. Being in the conversation, like, you know, like we we did our you know we did our job.